Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Lisa. I'm Spiritual Coach Lisa Hopp. It is Sunday, August 22nd, 2021. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you're new to this podcast, welcome. And if you're new to me, please be sure to check out my website at lisahop.com. That's L-I-S-A-H-O-P-P.com for all about me, my services, my upcoming events. There's so many things available through Zoom, telephone, no matter where you are in the world, there's even email services. So check it out. I'd love it. I'd, I'd appreciate it so very much. And for those of you coming back week by week, uh, I appreciate you guys so much and your wonderful testimonials and your support. Thank you. Thank you. If you're listening to this on YouTube, please like, subscribe, share. It would be wonderful to see some of my subscribers go up. It's kind of been holding around 138 recently. Um, So whatever you can do, I would appreciate it so much. Thank you. I feel like it's a way to serve. And so you're serving too by liking, subscribing, and sharing. (laughs) I don't get anything from YouTube for it. (laughs) So it is all about service. So the topic today... Oh, wanted to say as well, (laughs) no matter when you're listening to this, this is coming out much later on a Sunday morning. Today for me, I'm a little bit slow going. It's like a typical Sunday for me. It's like easy like Sunday morning. (laughs) I've just been kind of lounging around, trying to get motivated, still have the jams on. (laughs) So... For those of you waiting for this podcast on a Sunday, I apologize. It's just one of those days at the end of one of those weeks, a week where I just needed a little bit more rest, a little bit more (laughs) self-care. So thank you so much for being here. And whenever you're listening to this, I hope it is very positive for you. And that you're pos- you get something positive out of it. Because as I said, that's why I do this. So on to the topic. On to the topic. It took me a while to come up with this topic. I had to look through my over 100 podcasts. And I didn't have one that really was titled like this. So I'm going there. And that is, how are your feels today? Because it's all about the feels. Are you feeling right now happy, depressed, worried, negative, pessimistic? Whatever you feel, you have. You are. You're creating into your world. I lost a close loved one recently. And I'm finding out so much new thought wisdom that they knew that I didn't know they knew. And oh, it makes me feel so very much more connected to them than ever before. It's like, wow, that's true. That's true. And one thing I've learned that they knew and said was that you can't acquire wealth. You can't receive abundance, whether it be through the lottery or a promotion or anything, unless you feel abundant, unless you feel wealthy. They knew that. The one thing is we know. The truth is we know a lot of truths. We're given it. We It's almost like we're programmed when we come here. And then God our angels, or any of our invisible heavenly helpers, they drop, they trickle down like parachutes, this little wisdom to us. Sometimes it appears in an email you get or in something really that you see on Facebook, though I'm not promoting (laughs) social media as the go-to for wisdom, but uh, all the time, but yes, can have in place something right in front of you in order to remind you of a truth. Absolutely. Absolutely. And here's what I'm talking about. 
these little trinkets, these little wisdoms um, that talk about following your heart or that ask and you shall receive or that you create your future or it always works out. The storm always passes. Everything can always turn out roses. You know, these are things that we're reminded of all the time. And for someone who many of you, I want to put it this way, many of you know truth, but still don't live it. And that particular person that I spoke of that I'm finding out knew so much, so wise, and I'm not surprised. Still did not apply it all the time. We don't apply our truth, our truths, the truths of the universe. We don't apply it. So why don't we do that? Because we let the world get to us. We let our self-esteem get to us. What other people say about us get to us. We get caught up in our ego, our physical body, and yes, our emotions. We can get really centered in on when we're having a bad day and stew on it and wallow in it. We can stay in the moment of that person who betrayed us or hurt us. We can stare there instead of moving forward and going towards the better feeling and the upgrade. We get in, it's so easy, isn't it? To allow ourselves to feel those lower feelings. And then we like company with it, don't we? I see it so much and I can't do anything about it. People have a bad experience with someone and they post it on social media whether it be Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or wherever they want to post it. And then here come the like minds. Here come the people that want to name call and be at that level with them. And now that feeling is magnified. That feeling of outrage and anger. And it gets larger and larger and larger. And now every single person, the original poster and the commenters are now attracting more of what they're complaining about. Do you really want that? You don't really want that. But boy, did you really, you liked, didn't you? You loved having people go, yes, you're right. Isn't that awful? Let's flock together. We all love a flock. I like to keep my flock positive and happy. I like to stay away from people that are negative flockers. (laughs) And angry flockers. Pessimistic flockers. You are creating your tomorrow today. You're creating your today today too. Your day can always turn around. In the next second. In the next second. But you have to see how you feel. Because your emotions are powerful manifestors and magnifiers. You've been given the truth of laughter is the best medicine. For those of you who are dealing with health. 
You know it is. Why? Because it raises your vibration. And when you're at a higher vibration, your body restores. It starts to heal. It can even start to cure. Lower vibration attracts more ill health, dis-ease. Higher vibration goes towards the healing. It is truth. It's another ditty that was dropped down to us. Yet I've seen people who post constantly about the diagnosis. Or the worst of the journey. And I'm not saying that you should not be an advocate for treat for health care. You're allowed to speak about what you've been diagnosed with. Try not to dwell on those worst days where you're challenged. Where the focus on not focusing on what want on healing, but focusing on being where you don't want to be. Get into a state of feeling good, of laughter, lots of laughter. Walk away from drama. Walk away from people if you have to. If you can't entirely, just for a moment. And forgive. And accept. Come to the conclusion, or I've come to the peace lately that people boggle my mind. They're thinking. There's no talking to some. They're where they are. So I've decided not to put my mind to them. <laughs> it cannot boggle it if I don't have my mind to them. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to give my opinion. I'm just going to let them be who they are. I keep cruising by. I let I let consequences and free will fall will will where it will. Karma do its thing. And I'm on my downstream calm water where I am. There are so many people that feel righteous in how they feel nowadays. They're only coming from their experiences. There's always an underlying root cause. That often has nothing to do with the action or the actions or the reasons they're giving. Send everyone love around you energetically and stay focused on how you're feeling because if everyone stays focused on happiness and peace and joy it overflows out to everybody else. And it cures the world's ills. You can't fix something by arguing or fighting against it. You can only fix something by fixing what's 
what's needed to be fixed within you. How are you feeling right now? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you anxious? Go to the lighter place inside. You can do it through listening to music, watching a great movie, taking a walk with bare feet in nature safely, meaning not, um, you know, with good weather outside. Taking a weekend drive or a weekday drive. I've known people, such a wonderful idea, that have just gone to a hotel or motel for the night just to escape. To get away from the world by themselves. Whatever your soul needs to happen to reach that higher vibration, it is important. If it occurs to you, do it. Take care of yourself and your emotions. So, why are the feels so important? Because we are natural manifestors and attractors. And our emotions and our thoughts, but particularly our emotions, or real strong tools for that. What you feel doesn't just stay within you. It emanates outside of you and connects to the energy in your environment. When manifesting connects out to other people, to situations, to the overall good, It finds like. So let's say today you are feeling quite cranky. Just like on social media, when you feel cranky and then you talk about it, you are putting out rocket flares out to those who also feel cranky and want to talk about it goes out to them, multiplies, and then boomerangs back to you. So that throughout your day, and if it's ongoing throughout your week, it keeps going out and coming back multiplied. Going out and coming back multiplied. Because we are in an energy universe. Everything is about energy. Emotions have so much energy that they can form into malignant tumors and blood clots and other blockages, emotional, physical, mental. It does not mean on a human level that you deserved it. It just means we don't know our own power. So that's why it's so important to always be trying to heal. Don't hold on to it. Even if you're right in how you feel, if you hold on to it, it multiplies. It turns into digestive issues. It turns into disruptions in your environment. When you feel wealthy inside, when you feel gratitude for all that you have, the roof over your head, your friends, your family, your food, it rocket flares out from you, multiplies 
and comes back. There has not been one lottery winner that's felt poor. Even if they're homeless, at that moment they are released of their feelings of feeling poor. Wealth attracts wealth. Have you ever heard, fake it before you make it? It's another truthful ditty, trickled down, known by those who are the most wealthiest and successful among us. You ever heard dress the part? These are all keys to magnifying wealth and manifesting wealth. If you feel like a millionaire inside, if you're walking around and you're looking at trinkets and um, you're just feeling free, financially free, and you can hold on to that, Probably, the experts will tell you to hold on to it for at least a minute. But truly, if you can hang on to it, that feeling for a day or several days or a week, you're going to see things happen. It is important to ignore, if you have to, the environment around you. The environment around you should not impact how you feel inside. Be the calm in the storm inside. You see people who are walking around feeling wealthy, no matter what their bank account says, no matter what job they have or don't have, eventually wealth has to find them. The timing is always divine. It can happen in a second and when you least expect it. It may be a trickle or a plop, meaning it may come in little small increments as a trickle, or it can be a download overnight all of a sudden, but it will always happen in some way. If you hold on to that better feeling and you're walking around with that better feeling. And if you're walking around with that better feeling, it'll start to show up on your outside self. Suddenly you're walking taller. If you're going through health, you want to Maybe try a new wig or find a new top to wear because you want to look better equal to how you feel. With those who are feeling wealthy inside, you'll walk around later. You'll notice what you're looking at, what you're drawn to look at, what's showing itself around you. Have you ever, this happened to me, I had a dream car in my mind and I would visualize every day driving that car. Well, pretty soon I was seeing that car everywhere. It's happening to me again. There's a certain color I have in mind for a vehicle and now I'm seeing the color everywhere. It's because I sent out a rocket flare of manifestation and it's showing me it's coming back to me. Manifestation is occurring. Love. Ah, love. Walk around. Either happy 
content and peaceful with gratitude about your love life or walk around in love whether that person is there or not. Now if you're currently in a relationship you will make that relationship better or you will get a better relationship. So perhaps you will think it's a bit of a risk but it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Feel what you want on the outside, on the inside first, and it will arrive to you. It will be transformed. Now, if you look for it, wait for it, you're noticing it's not there. It has to be a fake it before you make it. And you're walking around as if it's already yours. See, if it's already yours in your feelings, you're not missing it, are you? And if you're not missing it, it magnifies it and manifests it and brings it into your environment. We must be very careful not to focus on lack in anything whether it be lack of health, lack of wealth, or lack of love. So when you're walking around going, oh, I'm so poor, I'll never be able to do that. My bank account is laughing at me when I think about that trip. Oh, I'm so fat. You are bringing more of that into you. Is that what you really want? Do you really want that? No, and don't try to sell me because it is not based in truth. But that's my reality, Lisa. Are you hearing me? It is the reality that you have created. And you have the power to change your reality in any moment. You're not being funny when you're posting about poverty or body image that you don't like. You're only getting like minds to join you and go, yeah, that's me too. Let's magnify this. Let's keep this with us. Let's continue to make this our reality. How about walking around like you're a bombshell? You know those people that do that and you admire them. Because of how they feel inside and how happy they seem to be. And you secretly wish you could be more like them. not in the actual body they have, but in their confidence in how they feel. Everything you ask for is yours. That is why another truthful ditty, be careful what you wish for, you'll get it. Are you wishing for black or wealth? Are you wishing for lack or love? Are you wishing for disease or health? Focus only with your emotions on how you want to feel about your life. And then your thoughts will follow and your words will follow. Because they're all interconnected. And you have to watch what flies out of your mouth. Because what flies out of your mouth is what you were taught. You have to work hard for the money is what you were taught, perhaps. 
That's not true. When you love what you do, you love working hard. You do it naturally. You have to focus, yes. But when we hear you have to work hard for the money, what we were taught was you have to put in a lot of hours. You have to burn out. You shouldn't take breaks. That's all not true. Balance, love, thriving, prosperity, living on your own terms. Wealth, thoughts, and feelings, and words. How do you feel? Are you hopeful? That's a higher vibration. Are you strong in your faith that your prayers are answered? Because they always are. Higher vibration. Are you happy today but you don't know why? Higher vibration. Feel good. Feel great. When you go with the flow, when you're on the downstream of good feelings, as I said, you will see it around you. People will extend themselves out more to you. Things will work out easier than they would have. Yes, sometimes you're challenged, but that also is working to bring you greater. And you deserve to have greater. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have love. You deserve to have health. And you deserve to have all the wealth that you would ask for. And there's plenty of wealth. Don't ever believe there isn't. There's more than enough to go around. We're all in our place because of our feelings. That's the truth. So watch those feelings, watch those thoughts, watch those words to come out because you're worth it. And whatever you would ask for is supposed to be yours. Thank you so much for joining me today. For those of you in New England, stay safe. In all parts of the world that would listen with weather, with life, stay safe, stay happy, stay creative. I hope you have a wonderful week filled with many blessings. I received a wonderful testimonial this morning from someone who, a client, who has received wonderful results from a hypnosis program that I use that helps the mind, the subconscious mind. There are tools out there. And please check out my website to see if some of those tools would be good for you at lisahop.com. And once again, please like, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Facebook under Spiritual Teacher Lisa Hop. I've got more things coming in the mix. 
So stay tuned. <laughs> and as always, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful week. Thank you so much. <laughs>